Blessings to everyone who's watching me right about now. I have a word for you, and this word is someone left you because they are not of you. My brothers and sisters, it is a good thing that they left you because had they stayed, they would have dragged you down with them. They would have destroyed your life. Brothers and sisters, they are people who have been with you for a very long time. And these are the very same people that were responsible for your predicament. These are the people that went ahead and set traps for you to fall down. These are the same people that set up meetings to discuss about your downfall. They are the ones that keep on gossiping about you. So my brothers and sisters, there are some things that are just a blessing. Yes, it may be painful. Yes, that person may have been so close to you to an extent that you have considered that person family. But my brothers and sisters, it is a blessing that they left you. They left you because they were not of you. They left you because they did not share the same dream with you. They did not share the same vision with you. Brothers and sisters, this is a word for someone who's watching me right about now. I know right now you may be confused. Right now you may be asking questions. How could that person leave you? After everything you have done for them, they choose to leave you. Some of them have left you because they have realized that things are not working well in your life. They have realized that they cannot get anything from you. But my brothers and sisters, don't get worried. Don't quote out on who left you or who is besides you. The fact that Jesus is with you, that is all that matters. Because the scripture says that Jesus will never leave you nor forsake you. It is people that will leave you. It is people that will ostracize you and reject you. It is people that will uh, betray you. But Jesus will never betray you. He will never leave you. He will never lie to you. Scripture says that God is not a man that he should lie. So your family can lie to you. Your friends can lie to you. Your colleagues can lie to you. But God will never lie to you. He is a promise-keeping God. He is your present help in times of need. When you call up the name of the Lord, He will rescue you. He will save you. He will deliver you from all afflictions. Scripture says, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them from all. I know some of you have gone through a lot of afflictions. You have torment, you've been tormented. You have been going through pain day and night. But I'm here to encourage you that God will deliver you from everything. Sometimes, someone leaving you is a sign of deliverance. A lot of people may not know that the fact that someone packed his bags or her bags, I know some of you may have been in a relationship for so long, then all of a sudden you have a, a small misunderstanding and that person leaves you. That is a blessing. Because those people were holding your blessing. Those people were a hindrance to you. Their leaving you is a sign of deliverance. That is a sign that God could have been showing you that he's delivering you. From some people. Sometimes you, you, do, you may not even need deliverance from maybe poverty, from diseases. Sometimes deliverance could be from people. You need deliverance from people. People who have been so attached to you for so long. These people have been monitoring you to destroy your life. I want to read to you a scripture that is in the book of 1 John chapter 2 verse 19. 1 John chapter 2 verse 19 and it reads they went out from us but they were not of us for if they had been of us they would have continued with us but they went out that they might be made manifest that none of them were of us that is a very powerful scripture the scripture says, starts by saying that they went out of us. They went out from us. 
These people were around you and they went out from you, but they were not of you. They were not of you. For if they had been of us, they would have continued with us. But they went out that they may be made manifest that none of them were of us. The reason as to why they went out, it is for them to be made manifest that none of them were of you. So don't, don't try to, to complain. If someone decides to leave you, if someone decides to leave you, let them go. If they choose to go, let them go. Just let them go. Don't try to complain with them. Don't try to beg them. Let them go. Because God is preparing you for something that is big. Something that is mighty. The scripture says that eyes have not seen nor ears heard what the Lord has prepared for those that love him. The eyes have not yet seen. They think they have seen it all. Just because you are going through light afflictions, it doesn't mean that is the end of you. You are going to come out of the storm. You are going to come out of that predicament. They can keep on talking whatever they want. They can keep on saying whatever they want about you, gossiping, and spreading false information about you. But that false information will not destroy you. It will only destroy them. It is not going to be destroyed, but it's going to destroy them. That hatred against you is going to destroy them. Keep operating in love. Keep doing what God has called you to do. Don't focus on other people's tasks. Don't focus on who tries to uh, do harm to you. Focus on God. Because if you focus on God, God will lift you up. God will protect you. God will save you from your adversaries. Brothers and sisters, this is the end of the word that I have for you. Now, until next time, God bless you.